hearts. Amen. We thank God today. How many realize from the reading of his word, God is such an awesome God. We have one word for you today. Oh my mind, you can look down your road and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, the one word is victory. Oh, you got no help on that side of the room. Let me look over here. How many know one word for us this morning is victory? No matter what you've been through, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what's happening in our society, in our world today, how many know, but thanks be to God for the victory. How many know we thank God for victory? Victory over everything that the enemy has thrown your way. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We thank God for victory. I mean, Paul pins his first letter, oh my God, to the Corinthian church. How many know he has some issues in dealing with the, the Corinthian church? But at the end of it, as he began to summarize oh man, this great chapter, he was letting us know the things will transpire by the end of chapter 15. Can we talk in here? As we look at it, it says in the end of it, he said, one day we'll all be changed in a twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Woo! Before you can blink, yeah. how many know that God's going to Jesus coming back? Yes, sir. And when he come back, how many know something's got to happen? Because you can't go to heaven in what you're in right now. That's right. Woo! Because sin was found in this body. And what no sin entered in to heaven. Yeah. Yes, God. Our corruptible bodies will be closed with an incorruptibility. Yeah. Oh my mind. It's going to be instantaneous change. Oh my God. We're going to pull off this mortal and put on immortality. Yeah. Oh my mind. Everybody is not going to be laying in the casket in front of the pulpit. Uh -huh. Woo! Some of us are going to be changed in a moment of a twinkling of eye. But I think I'm going to act up in here today. But as we get to look at the thing, hallelujah here, our mortal bodies. Closed with immortality. That means what you're saying, Pastor. Pain, sickness, disease, disabilities, and suffering of every kind will be gone. Right. I ain't got to find no help. I think somebody praising right now on Facebook. Because why? All the things that we're dealing with, mother, in this time right now will be gone. No more pain, no more sickness, no more diseases, no more disability, no more suffering. Everything will be gone. No more wearing masks. No more worrying worry about shots. How many know it's going to be over? It's going to be over with quickly, instantaneously. How many know as I talk in here, our resurrection bodies will be indestructible and incorruptible. Woo! That you're not going to be able to destroy. There won't be no blood pressure problem. No diabetes, no. None of that stuff is going to happen. How many are alive? You can run over us and you won't kill us because it's going to be indestructible. Because yeah. why? We're going to look like Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Yeah. No matter what, but I got to pull off this mortality. Yeah. How many know this old body that I'm leaving, living in now is leaving? Yeah. Woo! How many know it's just temporary housing? Yeah. Yes, sir. Can I teach in here? How many know when you're staying here? I don't care how you exercise it. How many genes and how many vitamins you take? How many know it was just there temporary? Yeah. Oh my my, it's not what God has in store for you. But there's something deep down inside of man in the people past the analogy. Yeah. It's called soul. Yes, sir. And how many know that God is going to be a change? Yeah. He says in the, another text, I don't even know what we're going to look like. Uh -huh. Oh my God, but one thing I do know, that I'm going to be with Jesus. Yeah, my, 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 in here. So, for all of those who are in Christ Jesus, that's the key. There is no sting to death. Woo! For death will be swallowed up in that one word today, victory. Oh, my God, in here, he took the sting out of death because what you going to do now, devil? If you kill me, I'm going to be with Jesus. And if I live, I'm going to live with Jesus. Oh my God in here. So the devil don't know what to do with you when you get sick, you praise him. Oh my, when you're on your deathbed, oh my God, you tell God any day now. Because in the arms of Jesus, there he is, a hiding place. Oh my God in here as we teach on today. So it says in here, death will be swallowed up in victory. Death is the result of sin. Sin was found in our body. For the wages of sin is death. Y'all do know that every time we sin, how many know it's right for God to just cut us off? But thank God for grace. Woo! 
the unmerited favors of God. How many realize, thank God for grace? Yeah. Oh, my, my. How many of us say, God is a God of another chance? Uh -huh. Ooh, I didn't want that another out a whole long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Thank God because he keeps on making ways for me. He keeps on opening doors for me. He keeps on blessing us. Ooh, we can fail and not be a failure. My God in here. I mean, oh God is doing some amazing things. But I got to do what? I got to move out of this old house. And I got to move into what God has in store for me. Say so where in hell. So when, oh my God, sin, death is the result of sin. And sin gets power from the law. But when God's law command, do not the simple heart, oh my God, desires the opposite. The, the law told you, thou shalt not. But how many know what the stuff that you're wrapped in fights against you? How many realize that man, oh my God, there is always conflict with man. That's conflict with man and God. Conflict with man and himself. Conflict with man and others. There's a war going on because God tells you to do right when your flesh wants to do what you want to do. Oh my, my. But how many know that God is getting ready to turn the thing around? What is the one word today in here since y'all ain't gonna say nothing? The one word is victory. victory. I'm gonna teach in here. My God in here. But because of his faithfulness to his perfect, keep, he perfectly kept the law and bear our sins. Our Lord Jesus Christ has given us victory. How many know he has given us victory? As a teaching here, the Bible tells me in 1 John, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Yeah. Woo! How many know you already won? And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Do you realize now you are overcome? Yeah. My God in here, look at your neighbor and tell the name, your neighbor the name of these words. Say, I am over it now. I'm over anything that the devil threw my way because why? I'm already won. Yeah. Oh my God, the victory is in Jesus. Yeah, God in here. So I look at the text. That faith that overcomes the world is a faith that sees eternal realities. My God, that I'm not looking at where I'm at, but I'm looking at where God is going to take me to. Because why? Life is a journey. But then I don't focus on the journey, but I focus on the destination. How many know I got to go through to get out? Oh my God, I don't look like what I've been through, but I thank God what I've been through because it made me for my culture. Oh my God, because God is getting ready to do something in here. My God, in here, so faith that sees eternal realities, experience the power of God and love. Christ to such an extent that the world sinful pleasures secular values, ungodly ways, and selfish materialism not only loses their attraction for us, but also look upon with disgust, aversion, and grief. Oh my God, when you look back over your life and say, who was that? I did that. Who was that individual? I don't even know no more. But one day I came to Jesus. And how many know that he that is saved right now have overcome the world? Oh my God, we are overcomers. Woo! And the biggest enemy that you had to overcome was you. I'm teaching it here. How many of you God is telling us in here that we have the victory. And the victory is in Jesus. So no matter what we've been through, I got the victory. How many know because uh, we will not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Yeah. In a moment of the twinkling of an eye. Yeah. Oh my God, at the sound of God. How many know God is getting ready to do some amazing things? Yeah. So Peter tells me, hallelujah, holy living until Jesus come back. You got to live holy until he come back. Teach it here, Pastor. Wherefore, my beloved, seeing that you look for such a thing, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. My God, I have to sanctify myself. I got to live a life pleasing to God because one of these old mornings, and it won't be long, 
Oh my God, if he says you're going to look for me, and I will be gone. I'm going to a place where Sabbath will have no end. But how many know what grandmama said it like this? Every day is going to be holly high. How many remember that? And never goodbye. Woo! So I give you praise in here. So Peter or Paul tells us at the end of the 15th chapter. He give us a state of being. Don't he do it? What you say, brother Paul? Paul says, be ye steadfast. My God. How many know it's time to stand firm in the Lord? Be ye steadfast means unchanging. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through. How many know you got to be unchanging? Seek or swim, live or die. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How many know not only that, but he said you must be loyal. Oh my God, are you committed to God? Because the day is approaching. How many know, beloved, we're living in a dying season? People are dying left and right. Every time you look around, someone has died. But I thank God this morning that I can be seen and not for you. God has been good to me. Have you been good to anybody in this house? I got you to give God a What's the one word today? Say victory. We have the victory. So therefore, for this reason, Paul says, as he concludes the end of this glorious chapter on the resurrection, he said, be steadfast, unmovable, always excelling in the Lord's work. I mean, no one strive for excellence because excellence is inside of you because you know
about it real fast. Just look down your road and say, neighbor, I have overcome it. I have overcome fear. I have overcome obstacles. Everything that I've been through, I have overcome it. 